Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good whatever time it is where you are. Welcome to today's Math Minute, the only Math Minute guaranteed to be today and guaranteed to be no more than 10 minutes long. I want to talk today about something that I have my students study in Algebra 1. I think it's a pretty common topic in Algebra 1 across the United States at least, and that is something called a correlation coefficient, or we often call it R. If you've ever run a regression, either in a calculator, in Excel, or maybe you've seen a scatter plot with a line going through that scatter, scatter plot, then you may have heard of R, or sometimes it's expressed as R squared. Roughly speaking, a correlation coefficient is a way to express how tightly fit a data set is to a model for that data. Specifically, if we talk about a linear data set, which we will for the remainder of this video, we're looking at a scatter plot and asking how close is it in some sense to actually being a straight line. There are several ways to calculate this, of course, Normally nowadays, we just let computers calculate it for us. I have found one of the ugliest ways I was able to find to calculate the coefficient, and I'm showing that to you on screen right now. It's not something for the faint of heart. It's not something that we typically calculate by hand anymore, though of course we could if we needed to. However, precisely because it's not something we typically calculate by hand, we just kind of let a computer do it, I find that it's useful with my students to play a game where we try to guess correlation coefficients and just kind of familiarize ourselves with what data sets or scatter plots can look like and how that corresponds to various correlation coefficients. My favorite way to do this is an actual game. It's called Guess the Correlation. You can see it here, guessthecorrelation.com. Super fun game to play with students. Super fun. I, I just sit around and I play it myself sometimes. So I want to show you that game. We're going to play it together here and we're going to talk about what this demonstrates about data sets and statistics and this idea of correlation. So I'm going to click here, new game, and we got some wonderful sound effects. I got to make sure my iPad is turned turned way up because I want you to hear the sound effects. It's some, you know, it's my favorite part basically. So we've got our three lives. We've got a data set here in the middle. The data set is normalized zero to one on the x-axis, zero to one on the y-axis, because of course in this case it doesn't represent anything at all. What we're trying to do is say, basically, how much does this look like a straight line? You can do this, of course, with other kinds of models, quadratic models, exponential models. We're gonna stick with a simple linear model. As I look at this data set, does this look like a straight line to me? You can tell in this particular case, the answer is very much no. This does not look like there's gonna be any kind of strong correlation. I can see the data is very spread out throughout my coordinate plane right now. So we're going to pick a number. Now, R exists on a continuum from negative one to positive one. So the strongest positive positive correlation possible would be one. The strongest negative correlation possible would be negative one. The positive or negative in that case corresponds to the slope of the line that comes from our linear regression. In the case of this particular game, all the slopes are positive, so we don't need to ever worry about typing in a negative sign. We're always gonna be guessing a number between zero and one. Now what I find useful to do with students is say, because this is a number between zero and one, let's try to express this roughly as if it were a percentage. The correlation coefficient is not a percentage, but again, in terms of helping people understand what's going on, say what percent fit you think this data is to a particular line. In this case, it's not great, but it's also not super horrible because I can see a lot of kind of blank space in that upper left-hand corner. So that would make me think if I were going to draw a line, I would roughly try to draw it on mostly the lower half of this coordinate plane right now. And so it seems like the different points on the scatter plot here are kind of close to what that line would be. And so I'm going to say, you know what, I think this is like a 30% fit. So it's very lowly predictive, but it is a little bit predictive of where a point would be in this scatter plot. So I'm gonna hit enter. And that was actually a little low, 30% was too low. It looks like this one is actually a 47% fit. Again, it's not a true percentage, but that 0.47 represents not a strong correlation, it's not even over 0.5, but at least a decent connection between our X coordinates and our Y coordinates on this scatter plot. Now you'll notice in this case, I was 17 units away from the actual answer. So that's too far. Anytime I think you're 10 or over in this game, you lose a life and you start with three lives. So we're already down one and we also haven't earned any coins yet. So I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna hope I can do a little bit better this time. Now to me, this looks way more spread out even than a second ago when I thought it was as low as 30. Of course, I was underestimating it a second ago. I hope I'm not gonna be embarrassed here and get this wrong twice in a row, but I'm gonna say this is like, now I'm a little gun shy, 15, I worry, is that too low? Let's say 20. 
That was too low again. That one was 0.33. I'm down to one life. I still haven't earned any coins. Okay, but this one now, this to me looks exactly like the first one that we did. So I'm actually going to go with what was the right answer on that, on that first one. I think 0.47. Here we go. We're going to nail it. Yes. Okay. We didn't lose a life. We gained a coin. We didn't do quite well enough to actually gain a life back. You can gain lives if you get close enough, but we're still in the game. We're still playing. We got one coin. Okay, again, this looks pretty low to me. I do have a little bit of blank space in that upper left-hand corner and that lower right-hand corner. So I'm gonna say, I keep going low here. So I'm gonna say 33. And it was 0.04. This is so bad. I, I normally do much better. My high score is like 100. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? You win some, you lose some. Let's try again. We've got our three lives back. We've reset. This is Mario at the beginning. I don't know. Uh, again, I, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm going to say 20? 20% 20 fit? No, not a 20% fit. That one was 33. What is happening here? I need some high ones. The higher they are, the easier they are to get. This is not working at all. Of course. Of course. The moment I give up, I actually gain a life back. All right. That's going to start a new streak for us. We're back at all three lives. We got five coins for that guess. It was actually 0.50. We guessed 45. Here we go. Mmm. Just feeding me low one after low one. 10? That's like a 10% fit to me. Yeah, streaking now. We got a streak of two going on. So you can see the basic idea here. Of course, we don't know what the formula is for R here. We're not going to try and calculate this by hand. A computer is going to calculate this for us. But by playing this game, we kind of familiarize ourselves with the different things that are possible. We're streaking now. We've got 10 coins. You can see my high score on this particular account is just 22. Let's try and break that high score right now. Now, this is getting a little tighter, right? You could imagine if I drew a line right now. I'll try and like come up with a little picture here. That that line of fit would be pretty close to most of these data points. So I feel good about going, I'm going to say above 50%. I'm going to say like a 60% fit. Yes. All right. Not good enough to get a life. Our streak ended, but we do gain one coin there. So we're at 11. We're halfway to our goal of breaking my high score in this account of 22. Mm, this feels low to me. Plus, there's kind of this outlier all the way at the bottom of the graph. I'm going to say 10. All right. Close enough to get a coin. Not close enough to get a streak going. It's a little spread out here, but again, I'm gun shy about guessing too low. I think I'm going to go 35 on this one. Yes, I was one away. I haven't nailed one yet in this session on this video. Maybe we can do that to break our high score of 22 here in a second. But I do have a streak going on now. I still aren't, I'm not getting any data sets here that are super highly correlated. Um, I feel like this one is real spread out. I got to go like 28. Yes, 28 right on the money. Mm. Time to go to Vegas. All right. Okay. Now we're getting very tight correlations. We're starting to get a tighter correlation here. I'm going to say we're definitely streaking to three here. Oh, this is going to break our high score too. Um, 65. Two in a row. I promise I'm not cheating. I was genuinely doing terribly earlier. I thought I was just going to have to restart the video. We've got our streak of three going on. We're gaining lives, even though you can only max out at three lives, unfortunately. We got our bonus five coins, 32. Let's go. Mmm. Little lower here, but not too low because, again, I noticed some nice blank space in those upper left-hand, lower right-hand corners. I'm going to say 46. All right. Streak broken. That's okay. But we didn't lose a life. We're still going. We got a coin. We're at 33. This is what I want to see. Very nice line of fit we could draw through this particular scatter plot. So I'm gonna say 91. All right, we were two away, we start a new streak. All right, little bit less so here, I'm gonna say 90. All right, it was 0.87, we got our streak going on. Ooh, more spread out. These ones are a little tough. You know, the more spread out they get, there are a lot of numbers to guess between zero and 0.99. I mean, I guess there are 99 numbers that we could guess. Let's call this one 20. All right, close enough. Broke our streak, but we didn't lose a life. 79. Very nice. Okay, started a new streak. Ooh, let's do rapid fire now. 59. Maybe let's not do rapid fire. All right, I don't know how long I want this video to be. Of course, you know, the Math Minute guarantee. 
no more than 10 minutes. So maybe I'll end the video here, but then I'll do my rapid fire streak while you can click some buttons around here. We'll see how far I can go. I'm already above the high score. I'm at 49. Maybe I'll be able to make it to 100. But let me know what you think about this game. Go to guessthecorrelation.com. Awesome game. Comment down below with your high score. That's what I want to see. What are the high scores that my amazing and brilliant followers can come up with? I'm at 49 here. Let's uh, knock some out. Mmm, 60. Nice. 70. Not so nice. It's got to be low. 13. That was literally three more after I said I was going to rapid fire go to 100. 50 is halfway there, I guess.